Good day everyone, I'm your Mr. ATL and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we're going to discuss about the difference between identity and conditional equation. So when we say identity, it is an equation that is true for all values for which the expressions in the equation are defined. If an equation is true only for some values of the variable, it is a conditional equation. So let me give examples. Let us start with the identity. So in the identity, let's say for example we have x squared plus 2x plus 1 equals x plus 1 times x plus 1. So this is an identity because for whatever values of x of these expressions will be always equal to the value of expressions on the other side. So let's say for example when x is 1. When x is 1 that will be 1 square plus 2 times 1. Which so 1 plus 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 and adding this up it will give us um, 3 plus 1 square or 1 plus 3 that is 4. This is also equals when you evaluate this expression when x is 1. So 1 plus 1 is 2 times 1 plus 1 is another 2 then 2 times 2 is 4. So this is an identity. Okay? What about the conditional equation? For example, we have x squared minus 2x plus 1 equals 0. So, this will always be equal when x is only equal to positive 1. But when your x is negative 1, this will not be equal. Let's check. Again, when x is 1, compare when x is negative 1. So, this is 1 times 1 is 1 minus 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 equals 0. So, this is negative 1 plus 1 is 0, and negative 1 plus 1 is 0, and that is equals to 0. But when x is negative 1, that will become negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. Negative 2 times negative 1, that will become positive 2, bring down 1, equals 0. So, this will not be equal to 0, that is 4, and 4 is not equal to 0. So, as you can see, this expression is only equal to the other expression when x is 1. Otherwise, they will not become equal. Okay? So, when x is 2, when x is 3, when x is negative 7, and so on, they will not become equal. So, in that case, that is what we call the conditional equation. But on the other side, when x is 100, when x is 1000, and so on, they will always be equal. Uh, that is what we call the identity. So let us give more examples. Okay, so example, we have here, identify if it is an identity or a conditional equation. So number one, we have 1 minus cosine squared theta equals to sine squared theta. So first, I'm going to assign for the value of the theta, let's say we have 90 degrees or pi over 2. So, substituting it to the equation that will become 1 minus cosine square of 90 degrees equal to sine square of 90 degrees. Okay. So, 1 minus the value of cosine 90 degrees, as you can see on the unit circle, it's located here. And the coordinates of that, we have 0, 1. Cosine represents the x coordinate, so that will become 0. Okay? The square of that is still 0. Equal to the sine of 90 is... Sine represents the y coordinate, and that is 1. So, 1 square. And 1 square is always is also 1. So, therefore, 1 minus 0 is 1. And that is equal to 1 also. So, therefore, um, this expression is equivalent to the other expression when 
theta is 90 degrees. Let us check when eh, when your theta is 45 degrees or let's say okay let's use 45 degrees so when it is 45 degrees we can say that uh, we will get that 1 minus cosine square of 45 degrees equal to sine square of 45 degrees okay so the value of cosine 45 this is your unit circle your 45 is in here the, uh, the coordinates of this are square root of 2 over 2 square root of 2 over 2 so cosine is the square root of 2 over 2 then square equal to the sine of 45 is also square root of 2 over 2 then square Okay, so what will happen? So this will become Simplifying this, that is square root of 4 is 2 And square of 2 is 4 So equal to, this is the square root of 2 Then square of that, that is 2 2 square is 4 So this is 1 half And 1 minus 1 half is 1 half Equal to 2 over 4 is the same also with 1 half So they are equal okay so last let us um use when theta is let's say 60 degrees so that will become 1 minus cosine square of 60 degrees equals to sine of a uh, sine square of 60 degrees Okay, so this is now your unit circle. Let us find the coordinates of the 60 degree angle. Your x is, okay, that is 1 half for x. And square root of 3 over 2 for y. So cosine is your 1 half. So 1 minus 1 half, then square equals to sine. That is the square root of 3 over 2, then we have square simplify so that will be 1 minus 1 times 1 is 1 then 2 times 2 is 4 equals to square root of 3 times square root of 3 square root of 9 and the square root of 9 is 3 over 2 times 2 is 4 1 minus 1 fourth is 3 fourths equal to 3 fourths so for all values of theta the expression of the left member will be equal to the expression of the right member or, in other words, the this expression is always equivalent to the other expression. So, therefore, in that case, we can say that this is an identity. Okay? I'll give you more examples. Okay, another example. So, we are going to identify if this is an identity or a conditional equation. So, we have sine square x minus cosine square x equals 1. So, in this case, we will try to, we will try the value of x is, um, let's say, 90 degrees. So, we have sine square of 90 degrees minus cosine square of 90 degrees equals 1. So, Using our unit circle, our 90 degrees is here and the coordinates are 0 and 1. So sine is 1 square, your cosine is 0 minus uh, equals 1. So this is 1 minus 0 equals 1. So are they equal? Yes, they are. What if we will use when x is 180 degrees so the ordinates of this are negative 1 comma 0 so when x is 180 degrees or pi we will have that sine square of pi minus cosine square pi equals 1 so the value of sine pi is 0 then square minus the cosine square pi is negative 1 then square equals 1 so we will have 0 minus 1 equals to 1 
So since 0 minus 1 is negative 1 and this is not equal to 1, this is what we call a conditional equation only. It's not an identity. Another example, we have sine square b plus cosine square b equals 1. So let us assign the value for b, let's say we have 90 degrees. Okay, so we will have sine square of 90 degrees plus cosine square of 90 degrees equals 1. So, the sine 90 degrees is equivalent to 1, and square of that is 1. Plus, the cosine of 90 degrees is 0, then square of that is 0, equal to 1. 1 plus 0 is 1, equals to 1. So, this time, the equation is true when your B is 90 degrees. Let us have that when your B is 180 degrees or pi. So, we will get sine of sine square of pi plus cosine square pi equals 1. The, so, the sine pi is 0. Then, square of that is 0. Then, cosine pi is negative 1 here. Negative 1 square of that, that is positive 1 equals to 1. 0 plus 1 is 1, then equals 1. So, this is true. What if we will use b equals to, let's say, pi over 6. Pi over 6 is located here. And the coordinates of that, we have square root of 3 over 2 and 1 half for the y coordinate. So, let us now find the sine of pi over 6 and the cosine pi over 6 okay so we have here the sine pi over 6 is 1 half we will have 1 half then square the cosine of pi over 6 is square root of 3 over 2 then square equals 1 so 1 half times 1 half is 1 fourth square root of 3 times square root of 3 is square root of 9 and the square root of 9 is 3 2 times 2 is 4 equals 1 so 1 fourth plus 3 fourths is equivalent to 1 equals 1 so therefore this is true again so this equation will always be true for all values of the variable b with that we can say that this is an example of identity okay okay let us have more examples number four cosecant square theta times one minus sine square theta equals one so let us use the value of theta which is 30 degrees okay so this will become cosecant square of 30 degrees times 1 minus sine square of 30 degrees equals 1. Okay, let us find the value of cosecant 30 degrees. So, your 30 degrees located here. Okay, and the coordinates for that, your y is 1 half, your x is the square root of 3 over 2. So, this is your x, this is your y. When we say cosecant, you are referring to 1 over the sine. And since sine is 1 half, that will be 1 over 1 half. And then the square. So again, that is 1 over sine. And your sine 30 degrees is 1 half. So that's why we have 1 over 1 half. Multiply by 1 minus your sine 30 is 1 half. Then we will put square here equals 1 so let us simplify so simplifying this you will get 1 times the reciprocal of the 1 half which is 2 over 1 or 2 then square next we will have 1 half times 1 half is 1 fourth 1 minus 1 fourth is 3 fourths is that equal to 1 
so we will see later so with this 1 times 2 is 2 then 2 times 2 is 4 then times 3 fourths is that equal to 1 ok so this is over 1 simplifying that that will be 12 over 4 or cancel this that is 3 which is not equal to 1 so of course the answer now is that the equation cosecant square theta times 1 minus sine square theta equals 1 is not an identity but a conditional equation okay okay example number 5 we have sine x times cosine x equals to sine 2x so let us assign the value of x let us use pi over 2 okay so that will become sine pi over 2 times cosine pi over 2 is that equivalent to sine 2 times pi over 2 okay so the value of sine pi over 2 on our unit circuit it's in here the coordinates of that we have 0 and 1 so sine referring to the y coordinate so that will become 1 and the cosine of that is 0 is that equal to this by the way we can simplify this and that will become sine of pi where the sine of pi is 1 so 1 times 0 is 0 and not equal to 1 so if that is the case again this is a conditional equation Okay, so that's all for today. I hope you enjoy learning about the difference of the identity and the conditional equation. And before I end up my video, I would like to give my special thanks to Mr. Eldon Delican and I hope you learned something. Goodbye!